Welcome back to another episode on the MGN channel. We've got a new video up. I'm your host, Cornish, and we're going to tell you about an in particular game that's just come out, and it is two to six player horror co op. So, in science, this is a multiplayer horror co op game. One player can take role of the monster, or you can decide to have an AI as the monster, and then the rest are just you know, trying to get out or trying to stop the monster. Now, the monster is called the Rake. In the game, you'll have two choices. Either try to escape by uh, finding parts for the car and then getting the hell out of there. Or, or even open up a secret armory and then try and hunt down the monster itself. Now, some of the key features on there is you've got random perks. So, when you start the game off... Uh, you'll be given, I believe, two perks, and it'll just be at random, so you can customize your own, unfortunately. But, these perks will definitely help you out in the game. Another key item is you do have a defense weapon, flashlight or flashbang. If the monster grabs you and you've got enough flashlight battery left, you can use a flashbang to uh, hit the monster and then get the hell out of there and give yourself a second wind or so. Maybe a third if you find another battery. Who knows? There are also objects in the game like radios, TVs, bear traps, and everything to prevent him from, I would say, more of getting closer to you. Or if you're trying to get to one end to another, you could use the traps there um, as provided in the game. You've got like dummies, you've got bear traps, you've got jack in the boxes, you've got radios. You know, that could be cool if one player is in one end and then the other player is in the other. and. That person puts a radio out whilst the other person is trying to get an item. Now, we're going to talk about getting key items in the game. Wait, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Right. I'm going to put the radio on the bear trap and then turn it on. The thing is with the key items, there are two possible ways to win the game as a survivor. One of them is to get into the secret army and grab the guns, which I've yet seen or even heard of. Another part to win as a survivor is to find the car parts. So there could be a certain amount of tires that are gone off a car, a uh, car battery, the keys for the car. Um, they're all over this big map, so make sure you find them and drop them down to the car before he gets you. Toasty! Boy! Yes, boy! <laughs> yes, boy! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, mate! <laughs> That's a little bit about the survivor. Uh, let's go and talk about the monster itself. Now, the rake, the rake is partially blind. When I say partially blind, I was expecting to be really blind so you won't be able to see anyone until they start moving. But it's just a blur on the screen. You can, uh, you can find, see them, sort of. There are an ability where you can see for a short period of time. There's also run and scream, which is rage mode, and also jump which is pretty cool. You can jump from a height. The main key feature for the monster rake is the rake's vision de really depends on sound. The less sound is there, the less the rakes are able to see much. But like I said, when you play as a rake, you've got a little compass thing down here and it tells you pretty much where the noise is coming from. So you can literally charge down there. Now the rake is absolutely fast. And I'm not even kidding how fast he is. Uh, <laughs> if you th if you think you can try and run away, then think again. Uh, if you're really, really, really good at uh, silent and stealth, then you'll you'll make it. You'll make it. I think. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my way! <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Who's left? Uh, unlike myself, <laughs> unlike myself, I made noises. Oh! 
Now, another cool thing about this game is, because of the sounds and all, your voice makes a, uh, makes a thing on it. The voice, uh, the voice sounds is pretty cool, because when you're walking in the game as a survivor, you have a little uh, sound meter, which uh, goes up, and if it goes up louder, then the rake can determine to hear you. But if you're very quiet, and even not talking much, then you won't be able to see you. That being said, um, you can dupe the guy, which I accidentally duped one of the survivors next to me in this video clip. Or if you want to make of different sounds from different areas, you do have stones to throw, so if the rake is near you, you could try and throw it one direction, and he might, it, depending on player AI, he might go that way, which will give you a quick and easy getaway. There are a few things I didn't like in the game, and there is a few. One of my main problems with the game is, when you play as the monster, you and the survivors, don't have a lot of time. If the, if you change, if you go into game options and you try and set it to the longest, the longest is only thirty minutes. Now you think that's that's half an hour. It it doesn't take too long. Um, it it feels very quick having thirty minutes there. I reckon I recommend like an hour and a half of um, trying to be like win the game as a survivor. Um, the only problem is when the timer runs out and the monster wins, there's no, the monster can see everything or, um, you know, he has better powers to get them quicker. Uh, no, no, no. It's just literally game over, monster wins. Uh, that, that I didn't like at all. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's just time's up fucking thing. All right, that sucks. They, they could have implemented... When the timer runs out, the rake can go into a frenzy mode where he can actually his vision actually is clear and can see the or can see the enemies on the map um, to quickly take him out and win the game, which I think would be a lot better uh, instead of just when the timer runs out, it's game over, the monster wins. Another key item: the mon uh, the, although the monster is extremely fast, uh, I got into a situation where I was in a house. And I put a bear trap behind me, and I tried to dupe the monster. However, he got into the bear trap, and I, I still didn't have any time to get away, or like have any good time to run away. That, that, I reckon longer times in the bear trap when he gets trapped would be a little bit better. Another thing as well is the mouse when you die. There's a mouse. Like for myself, I was playing the monster, and I, I found finding the last player was really, really annoying because you had you had the mice everywhere, and they were just squeaking, making noises in different directions, which made it ultra hard for you to um, try and try and get the survivor. And with your vision being blind, it it's just. Yeah, it's unbearable, mate. It's unbearable. I want to give up. Yeah, we've been, I've been running around for about half an hour. <laughs> I, I can see where they said put the time limit in. That's very understandable. What I find funny the most is these types of 1v... How many other players are survivor thing. Um, these games nowadays, just they're just not as good. And it's hard to find something that's really good really fun um I, I instantly get bored of these types of games however the in silence wasn't too bad at all actually i i actually liked it and that's coming from someone that doesn't really like these one mon one person's the monster and the four people are trying to get out because it's the same generic stuff and it just gets boring after a while however in silence did a good job 
So I hope you enjoyed this in silence video. Now I'm gonna before we go, I'm gonna make an announcement, which should have been an announcement, which I should have said. I'm gonna be making more content for you guys on the MGN channel. We're gonna have some beautiful fun. If you want to hear from me and the team, we have got a Discord, which is in the MGN Discord down below. There's a little link there, so make sure you check it out. And also, a big thank you to everyone that's given me this opportunity to do this. I can't wait to bring more content to you guys, and I will see you soon. This is Cornish signing out. You take care and have a wonderful day.